Today we are going to be doing Yoshi's final cage setup. <music> and welcome or welcome back to another video and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. In today's video we are going to be doing Yoshi's final cage setup. This is part two of his massive tank upgrade. If you haven't seen part one yet, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It will be in the iCards and the description. I honestly think the setup turned out really, really well and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Here is Yoshi's cage. We just have it up on my sister's dresser and it is looking really nice. It has the heat panel on there and we're gonna go ahead and set it up. So let's go. As you can see here, the sand mat ended up being a little too big because of the enclosure, because of the background makes the enclosure a little bit smaller so the sand mat didn't exactly fit so we did have to cut it down a little bit. But after it was cut down it looked all nice just like this and we were good to go. So just a couple weeks after we initially set up the tank and there is a few new things in here. Basically, let me just open this up here and I'm just going to do a little bit of a case for you guys. So if we open it up here, first of all, there is this background here. And if you did not see the video where we made the background, um, you should definitely go check that out. I think I'm going to post that video a couple days before this one. Anyway. We'll start off on his warm side here. Of course, he does have his heat lamp 
A lot of people will say you shouldn't use heat lamps for lab geckos, but it honestly gives such a good temperature gradient as long as you can control it well enough and we do have it with a really nice little dimming mechanism here. So it controls the heat very, very well. So it's just worked out the best for us. Some people would argue to just use heat mats, but honestly, this heat lamp has been amazing. I will link it down in the description. It is a dimming a it's a heat lamp with a dimmer switch and the dimmer switch is amazing it controls it really well as well as a i forgot i think it's a 75 watt basking bulb from zoom in and it is awesome and then here we have his basking platform this is kind of where it gets the hottest like right here you can feel that it's really nice and warm it's about um 90 4, 95 degrees about where the basking spot should be and then the ground on his warm side is more around like 80-ish. Some spots are warmer like 84, 85, it just kind of depends. And then he can hide in here as well as, I don't know if I can show, but as well as that cave back there, if you can see that. So he has multiple hiding spots on his basket platform. This is really amazing. We just got it from PetSmart and it is awesome. He can bask here, 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 hide here, here, here. He just absolutely loves it. and. It makes them feel so safe and secure. And then over here, also more towards his warm side is the humid hide. And I put it more on the warm side to keep it more humid, but this is just a cave from Zoomit and you can open it up like that, spray it down. I'll be spraying that down tonight. And he can go in there for shedding and everything like that. It's just really, really nice. And then this is his warm hide he had in his old tank. As you can see, it is just a pretty like basic small, more small, medium warm hide. And then that basking platform is very large, but this is just something really nice. And then I do want to put something there. And then here we just have this really nice piece of natural driftwood and then just kind of fake plant. It just really fills in the space well and looks really nice in the tank. And that's that. <laughs> and then this plant here is one from Petco, just an imagitarium plant. And it's very nice and leafy. And it also just gives more coverage and space for him to feel secure. And then now that we're more on his cool side, let's talk about some of the, his cool side stuff. So here is just another plant, imagitarium. I can't even talk. I can't even pronounce it. Ima <laughs> imagitarium plant from Petco and then a piece of driftwood from i do believe our local reptile store so i don't exactly i'll try to find a link for this I'll, i'm going to find a link for everything but i might not be able to find a link for this specific driftwood i do believe it is a piece of mopani or something like that i don't know exactly i don't i just know that it's something safe <laughs> obviously i looked it up and everything but i forgot what type it is because they're not the best with but anyway, he has his hammock that is built into the background here. You will remember this from the last video of us making the background. And it does seem that there's a little urate hanging off of there. So that is nice. <laughs> and he did poop over there. So again, be cleaning all of that up later. But he loves this hammock. He apparently has decided to poop on it a little bit. <laughs> and it is just built into the background. So it's not going to go anywhere. Like that thing is sturdy. And then he has this water dish over here. It's kind of needs to be refilled, which I'll do later. And then his cool hide, he has two cool hides. He can go under there, under there. And this is also how he gets to the hammock. So those are really nice. And yeah, I think I covered everything in the tank. He also does have his thermometers. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. Right here is his cool side thermometer and then that goes into the tank. And then this is where it kind of detects the heat and humidity. Right under there, I just hid them so they're not quite as visible. But yeah, and then same thing, he has a thermometer on this side for his warm side and the probes are just right there. And then there's also a thermostat probe going down to a heat mat underneath. And the exoterras do have a little bit of built-in ventilation, so the heat mat will not cause a fire, but the heat mat is just for nighttime and we do have a thermostat for the heat mat. And it appears that I woke up Yoshi accidentally, so I'm so sorry, Yoshi. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. I might sound louder because I have a mic on me, but there's little Yoshi and he has definitely been settling in really well. But now that is everything in his cage and I'm going to leave him to rest because he still has 
a few more hours left of sleeping before he is actually going to be awake and walking around and exploring. And that is it for this video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed, and as you can see, Yoshi is really loving his new setup and everything that was his cage setup. I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. I love his new cage setup, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yoshi wants you to subscribe, too. Everyone have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!